how are you all doing? So, I'm looking good today everybody. Look, I've done my hair, I've got my lipstick on, I am ready to go. Amazing. So, I am Creative Clara and today we are going to create with paper pleats. So, I'm going to take this off. Hi guys, how are you doing? So, same as always, we have three rules and if you want to say them with me, then let's go with rule number one. Rule number one is, don't worry if you make a mess. Rule number two, don't worry if you make a mistake. And rule number three, and the most important one, is have fun. Fantastic. So, I haven't gone live again today. I've posted this video at half past one on my page. Um, if you are watching at half past one on Friday the 17th of April then I will be watching along with you so you can ask me some questions you can pop me a hello in the comments um whatever if you're not watching it at that time um then same applies you can just pause I'll suggest good times for you to pause the video to get on at your own pace of the craft and then play it again so like I do every week, I would like to say a few little hellos to everybody before we get started. So, I'd like to say hello to Phoebe. Hi Phoebe, and thank you for all the amazing doodles you've been sending me. You are a superstar. Um, hello to Hunter. Hi Hunter, and again, you've been doing some fab, fab pictures for me. Love them, amazing. Big hello to Ophelia. Hi Ophelia. And a big hello to Clara as well. Hi, Clara. You okay? And then a big hello to Joseph and Samuel. Hey, Joseph and Samuel. Hope your mum's okay. And then a hello to Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. And a hello to Luke. Hi, Luke. I loved your salt dough last week. It was fab. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the pictures with me. And then a hello to Sherry and First Hope as well. Hi there to you as well. Hello. You all okay? And I think that's all my hellos for today. So should we get started? Is everybody ready? So I asked you to get a few bits and pieces together like normal. Stuff that you can find in your house or stuff that you can find very easily when you go for your normal food shop. So no special trips out at the moment, okay? Just stuff that we can find nice and easy. So the main thing we need are the wonderful, the super versatile paper plates. So paper plates, and then we also need some wool, or some string, or some garden string, um, some thread, and um, whatever you've managed to get hold of. And then we need something to colour with. So some felted pens, some crayons, some pencils, whatever you've got, some paint if you're one of the lucky people who still has paint. Um, so just something to colour in your paper plates. So anybody who has done any crafting before will know that the paper plate is a craft person's best, best friend. There are so many, so many things you can make with a paper plate. But today I'm going to show you three, three of my favourites and then a sneaky fourfold at the end, which is really quick and noisy. Okay, guys? So we are going to do a jellyfish. We are going to do a dream catcher. And we are going to do a mask, as you have already seen, the more attractive version of me in mask form. And we're going to start with the jellyfish. So you need a paper plate, obviously, and then you need to fold your paper plate in half. 
I'm just going to move my camera slightly so that it's on the table so you can see me. So I'm going to pop that down a little bit more, okay? So you need to fold your paper plate in half, like so. You should have a line now in the middle of your paper plate, a fold line, and you just need to cut down the middle of that line. Be careful with your scissors. Um, if you need to ask a grown-up to help you, ask a grown-up to help you, okay? No injuries, please, people. So then you have your half of a paper plate, like that. This is a semicircle. So we started with a circle, and now we have a semicircle. And now what you need to do, and you probably will need to get your grown-ups to do this bit, because I really, really don't want anybody with holes in their fingers. No, no, no. No holes in your fingers, please. So you need to make some holes along the bottom of your paper plate. So I'm just going to come a little bit closer and show you. I'm just going to use a pencil, just a sharp pencil. And you just need to get your pencil and pop the hole in the bottom like that. Pencil through the other side. Pop your hole in the bottom like that, pencil through the other side, and keep on going until you've got them along the bottom. It's usually best if you keep this squiggly wiggly bit on the outside of your paper plate with no holes in. So whilst I'm doing that, shall I tell you a little bit about jellyfish? So the jellyfish are older than dinosaurs. So they are super, super old. They've been around for a long, long time, the jellyfish. And they have no backbones. So they're called invertebrates. They also have no brains. I know. And they also have no heart. Boom, boom, boom. How do they survive without a heart, hey? And they also have no eyes. <gasps> Whoa. They're amazing. And some jellyfish, and I wish I could do this, some jellyfish can glow in the dark. That would be so cool. So cool. So you have your paper plate with the holes along the bottom. Now, this is probably a good time to give me a pause so that you can take time to do your colouring and make your paper plates look super, super good. So you need to colour in your paper plate. My one has got eyes, because mine's a happy, smiley jellyfish. So, not like the real jellyfish in the sea. My one has two big, super-duper eyes and a big smile. So, spend a little bit of time colouring your jellyfish in. Once he's all coloured in, press play, and we'll go on to make his tentacles. So, you should all have a beautifully coloured jellyfish body. Everyone got one of those? But he needs to be able to swim in the ocean. So we need to give him some jellyfish tentacles. Ooh, you've got tentacles. Ooh. So we need, doesn't matter what colour you've got, I've got purple. Um, you need to grab your wool or your string or whatever you've got handy. And remember those holes we did earlier? We're going to thread the string through the holes. So, through the hole, will he go, in he goes. Again, you might need your grown-ups to give you a little bit of a hand. Through the hole like that, okay, your tentacles being be as long or as short as you want them to be. I think it's good to have really, really long tentacles on jellyfish. And then, if you are really, really clever, you need to pop a knot in the top, like so. There you go, if you're good at knotting, or if you need a grown-up to help you with the knots, that's fine. And then you need to do that through every single one of the holes, and then your jellyfish will have all of his wiggly tentacles. Ooh. And the other thing, I suppose, that we know about jellyfish is that they can be a bit stingy, but... The jellyfish is never mean to stingers. They don't go and attack us and mean to stingers. They just do it by accident because we might get in their way. 
okay so if you see a jellyfish and he's got his big stingy tentacles just move out the way as fast as you can because he doesn't mean to sting you so you might need to take a little bit of time now pause me pop all your tentacles on so you've got all your lovely tentacles coming down from the jellyfish oh and there's another little special hello to Ophelia here doing the jellyfish because a little birdie tells me that you're a big big fan of the ocean and things that live in the ocean so hope you've enjoyed making your jellyfish and learning a little bit about them so the next thing we're going to make with the paper plate is a dream catcher so this is our dream catcher here so oh that's cool isn't it <clears throat> so you start off again with what do you think we start with everybody i can't hear you but i hope you're shouting paper plate paper plate so we start with a paper plate and you need to cut out you'll see that there's a smaller circle on the inside of your paper plate and you see by there it's a smaller circle so you need to cut out the smaller circle again if you've got a grown-up with you you might want to ask them for a little bit of help with this bit cut all the way around so dream catchers I don't know if anyone's got a dream catcher or if anybody's made one before. The dream catchers are Native American, so that's where they come from. And they are designed to look, or they have their basis in spider's webs, which is why you get this crisscrossy bit in the middle that we're going to make. So this is the inside of your circle that you've just cut out. Pop that to one side because you are going to need it later. So you should have a circle and a hole. This makes a nice picture frame as well. If anybody wants to make a funky picture frame and stick things around it, that's another thing you can do with a paper plate and put your picture in the middle there. That's cool. But this is for our dream catcher. So the next thing you need to do is, again, take your pencil or your skewer or your hole punch if you've got a hole punch I don't know where my hole punch is um I have a strange feeling but my hole punch is at the lovely lovely role play lane which is where I usually am so my lonely little hole punch is sat on the desk where I usually sat so I'm using the pencil but this works just as well so we're making the holes in this part of the plate here so just underneath where the ridges are. So in between where we've cut it out and where the ridges are. So again, if you want to pause me to carry on doing your holes, they need to go all the way around like this. Okay, so leave a little bit of space in between each one. Right, so you need to do your holes and you also need to do your colouring. So if you pause me, if you do your holes, do your colouring. Um, again, use whatever you have handy to do your colouring. Um, and then once you've got your beautifully coloured paper plate with all the holes in, press play and we'll go on to the next step. Okay? So, Fab, you should all have your super duper paper plate. It should have some lovely colours on. And now we need to start threading our web into the middle of our dream catcher. So I'll pop down to the front again to show you this, guys. So again, you might need a grown-up to help you with this. Um, you start off, pop your string through there, okay? And we want to make it so that it's secure to begin with. So, depending on what your knots are like, we're just going to knot it at the back like so. Whoops. Wiggle, wiggle. Going to knot it like that in a double knot. If you're a fisherman, you'll be good at this. Dad, if you're making one, you'll be fab at all this knotting. And then, we're going to take our string and break off 
about a metre to two metres because we want to be able to thread it into our dream catcher. And now what we're doing is we're threading across, okay? So we're threading across to begin with. Whoop. So dream catchers are supposed to stop your nightmares. So what happens is when good dreams come by, the good dreams run down the string and they run down the bits of string that we're going to put at the bottom of our dream catcher. They go through the feathers and then you have good dreams. And the bad dreams don't get past the web. So the bad dreams, they get stuck in the web and they never get into your thoughts when you're sleeping. So that's what dream catchers do. So you're going diagonally. You're going diagonally again. So keep going like this. There's no right or wrong hole to go to. You just need to keep going diagonally across with your holes. Diagonally, like so. So if you want to pause me there and you need to be carrying on going diagonally and then you need to do the same type of knot at the end as you did at the beginning to make sure that the wool doesn't fall out okay and you should have the middle of your dream catcher like this like so okay so once you've done that pop pause now and once you've done that all through the middle press play again and we'll go on to the final part of the dream catcher so if you remember I asked you or suggested that you kept the centre part of your circle free that you cut out for your dream catchers. So on my one, I've drawn some lovely leaf shapes. You can draw some leaf shapes or some feather shapes like so. So you need to draw some little leaf shapes and some feather shapes and colour them in. So again, pause, do your shapes so you're looking to have this sort of shape like this, something like that. You see that? Leafy kind of shape. So draw those, colour them in and cut them out and then press play again and we'll go on to the next part. So once you've got your little leaves cut out, you need to stick them on and these are the bits that send the dreams down to you when you're asleep. So you attach some wool to them. So you need a little hole in the top of each of your leaves or your feathers. And then you need to thread your string through like so. And then just either stick them to the back of your dream catcher or if you want to make some more holes and knot them. So the same as we did on the jellyfish, knot them down the bottom like that. Okay, and then your dream catcher can hang by your beds, catch all those nasty, nasty nightmares and send all those amazing dreams into your head whilst you're sleeping. There we go. Now, the last thing we're going to make, and you can use a bit of creativity on this one, is the wonderful mask. So again, we need, what do you think we need? What do you think we need? I hope you are shouting at your screen. Beep, beep, bleep, beep, beep, bleep, beep, beep, bleep, beep, beep, bleep. So here is a paper plate. You will need a grown up to help you to begin into this one because you need to pop your paper plate in front of your face like that, nice and still. And then your grown up will have to find where your eyes are. Okay, so grown-ups, find where your children's eyes are and draw a little pencil mark, okay? So you should have two pencil marks on your plate where your eyes are, okay? And then you just need to cut out two holes where the eyes are. So 
just so you can see. Obviously, masks have been around for centuries and centuries. I was lucky enough last year to go to Italy. So, Italy's in Europe. And I went to a place in Italy called Venice. And in Venice, they have a big, big festival. I think it's in February time, a big carnival. Everybody wears masks all in the streets. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. So, put your paper plate back up onto your face, and you've got your two eyes, and that is your mask. And it's completely up to you how you want to decorate this mask. So, my little boy, actually... He was the one who came up with this idea when we were experimenting with the paper plates. And he has made, he made a, this is a dinosaur one that he made. It's got some bits cut out. And this is a little cat one that he made. So you can use, you can do one like mine if you want. So if you want some hair on it, then you just pop some holes along the top, tie some wool down for the hair. Um, you can make an animal mask, so you could make it into a little cat, or you could make it into a little dog, or you could make it into a fish, um, whatever you want really, um, but it would be fab to see them, just let your, let your imaginations run wild on your masks, okay? And then, to fix it to your head, you need two holes, one on either side of the paper plate, Oop, one there. And one on the other side, Oops, right there. And you need to grab your string, wool, garden string, um, whatever you found to use. I don't know if you use wool to use string, string to wrap up your turkeys at Christmas before you put them in the oven. So you're just knotting on the side of the plate, one side there. Double knot again, any fishermen who are out there. Get your knot skills going. And exactly the same on the other side. Pop a piece of string on the other side as well. And then you will be able to wear your mask. If anyone would like to send me a photograph of themselves wearing the masks that they have made, that would absolutely completely totally make my day so if you see if i turn around now just need to get a grown-up to tie your mask in a bow at the back and then your mask will stay on your face so there's our three things with paper plates and if you remember at the beginning i did say i was going to sneak a fourth one in a fourth noisy one just for all the parents out there so this and for anyone who's got slightly younger children as well, this is my super shaky paper plate. Look at this. Take it to the left, take it to the right. So, you need two paper plates. One like so. And then you just need to find in your house some rice or some dried peas, or some dried pasta, or any sort of dried good. Pop one lot in there, and then you need to pop glue all the way around your paper plate, all the way around so it seals, like that. Make sure the glue is dry um, before you shake it. And then you can decorate this however you want. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed that. I hope you've all made some absolutely fantastic things. Um, I have my doodle page, which is still up and oh sorry, still up and running. So the doodle for today is face or faces or a face. Um, if you wanted to join in, you just need to message me your doodle pictures or um, post them on my wall. Um, that's create as uh, creative Clara super doodlers. If you, oh no, something's happened. <coughs> so, 
something happened to my TV screen then. Right, I'm back, I'm back, just right at the end. Oof. And if you want to join me next week, I'm going to do some crafting on the life cycle of a frog. So we're going to craft the life cycle of a frog. Um, I'm not sure how yet, but it should be super good fun. And again, using materials that we can hopefully find around our houses um, or we can pick up nice and easily and fairly cheaply in the local supermarkets. Um, I think that is all. Oh, please, 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 please share your stuff with me. Um, I know I say it all the time. I know I post it all the time, but it does really, really make a big difference to me to see what you're doing. Um, normally I would be at Roleplay Lane and normally I would have you there in front of me. I'd be able to talk to you. We'd be able to have fun together. I'd be able to see what you were doing. And I can't do that at the moment. So if you can share your pictures, that would be absolutely fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to leave you now. Hopefully see you next week. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Okay. Bye.